Hello and welcome to another episode of Anthropologist Watches Glitter and Lasers. I am your friendly neighborhood anthropologist by training. And I'm a retired archaeologist, so there you go, in case you were wondering. Um, Anna put out a video called A Perfect Country Christmas? Question mark, Winter Plus Size Haul and Lookbook 2023. So I wasn't going to react to this. And then a couple people said something about it, and I was like, eh, I haven't looked at Anna's stuff in a minute. So I went over and I watched about half of this, and I was like, okay, it's cute, but I can definitely see how she is responding to reaction videos and to the criticisms she's been receiving. So it's very tongue-in-cheek. It's very cheeky of her. So I thought, you know, give her what she wants. I'm going to react to her reaction to us. So that's what's going to happen here. Again, I've only watched half of it. So we're going to watch the whole thing together. I have sped her up. She's at time and a quarter. So if she's acting particularly manic in this, it's because she's been sped up. It's not her. It's me. And yeah, before we get too far into it, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. You guys have been amazing, wonderful, spectacular. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my members. Thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up. You guys really count too, by the way. And thank you to everybody who's going to subscribe because you might as well. I, I do these fairly regularly. I'm going to read the description of this. Uh, welcome to our special 2023 plus size Christmas lookbook. Join Ashley on her heartwarming journey of self-discovery and style this festive season. Yes, it's our own little Christmas movie centered around some cute festive looks. I'm just curious. Go to the site. Are you kidding me? This dress. This dress. That's a look, by the way. Go away, ads. This dress is $525. Why? Why? Anyway. And look who's wearing one. So down to earth. What what a great look book. I mean, five hundred and twenty five dollars. That's that's a drop in the bucket. Anybody can afford that. I used to like this dress, and then I saw the price on it. Bye. All right. Anyway, she sped up. Let's get into this. I will be making comments as we go. I will say up front, I don't like Anna's style. I don't typically like the clothes she picks out or the things that she wears or how she wears them. Um, this dress being a slight exception, I do really like this dress. Um, until I saw the price tag. Why? I can recreate this dress for the 25 off of that. I could save you $500. Anyhow, let's go watch this. Happy holidays, y'all. Today Hi. we are celebrating a country Christmas. And by the end of this little lookbook, you're going to all be saying... Okay, Paula Dean. How do you think... Okay, it has been pointed out to me that uh, Anna is a transplant to Texas. It's the good old Tejas. She's not from... She's not from the country of Texas. So... Like, those of you who are from Texas will understand what I'm saying. But, uh, I don't, I don't particularly, I don't particularly cotton to people making fun of the South. So, I'm the only one allowed to do that. So, I, I'm just always interested to see how, like, non-Southerners, especially non-Texans, like to portray themselves as Texans now that they live there or as Southerners now that they've moved there because it kind of tells me about the stereotypes that they've been raised on and it also shows how little of the actual culture that they're living around that they've really paid attention to or observed because I like this dress a lot but howdy y'all okay let's go let's do this and yeehaw! And with that, let's get into it. Oh okay, we got what we need, right? Okay, good. Done. In Ashley's world, everything. I do understand that Ashley is supposed to be over the top, and that this is like I don't I don't know what Ashley's supposed to be. Honestly, Ashley's insufferable. Ashley is insufferable. Um, I honestly can't tell if Anna realizes that Ashley's insufferable. Or if she's just basically playing herself turned up a little bit. It kind of feels like Anna's just playing herself turned up a little bit and doesn't understand that these personality traits that she's portraying in Ashley are not great. Also, you've got to either send your cameraman 
to camera school, buy them a master's class, make them watch YouTube videos. You have got to get them to do better because they do you no freaking favor favors when they film you. Just like none. It's it's upsetting to me. I'm clearly offended by it. It had to be perfect. Perfect outfits, perfectly posed in perfect settings, perfect makeup, and the perfect smile. You better have done something else in this dress besides just stand here and slowly turn around and glare at the camera because this is a $500 dress. You better have dragged back and forth between those mountains there and back again because no. Just no. Perfect words, perfect actions, perfect little life. Christmas was always Ashley's time to shine. She would. I liked the green dress, but I'm not a huge fan of the fur. Christmas was. I like the green dress. This is like a German Christmas village. I can tell by the flags and her attempt to look German. She just pushes all my buttons, doesn't she? Dang. I didn't realize how bad, like, she annoys the crap out of me. Damn it, Anna, get your own culture. Anyway. You're an O'Brien. Go after the Irish. I don't like the fur. I like the green dress. I don't know if I would wear that. Other than it's green, I don't know if I would wear that during a holiday like this, but the fur just kind of makes it look... In my opinion, the fur makes it look trashy. Always Ashley's time to shine. Is it? She would never admit it, but oh, being sweet. perfect was exhausting. Okay. Does that dog move? Every time I see this dog, it's standing still. Or it's laying still. It doesn't move, you know? It's like whatever position the dog's in, it's just a statue. Unless she's walking it. So, I mean, I know it's a living thing, but, like, is that the breed? Does the breed do that? Do they just not move? Those pants are a thing. Anna is kind of the same way I feel about most of the 600-pound lifers that drive. I would not feel comfortable in the car with her driving. I would not feel like she's a safe driver, and I probably would not get in the car with her. That's my personal stance on the matter. Oh, gosh, there's no signal. Michael? No. Michael? Michael! Oh, God. It's disgusting. This was... It's so city slicker. Like, are you recreating city slickers? Is there a holiday movie she's recreating? I don't watch holiday movies. But this is so stereo... The stereotype is so overdone. And seeing that, what, she's from New York, isn't she? Or something like that? She's from the city. Um, I'm the only one allowed to do this, by the way. Just watching her make fun of it is just kind of fun not the country Christmas vibes Ashley was expecting. Things were not going her way, but she was determined to make it work. Oh, Dana, I think we finally made it. Yeah, buddy, this is our home. Yay. Hey guys, I'm here in the country to celebrate Christmas with my pup, and we're gonna have the cutest, countryest Christmas time here. <laughs> Love you, okay, bye. Does she not understand that that's how her shorts come off? Like, that's literally what her shorts are like. I know she's making fun of them, but... Anna, this, this, is, this is what your shorts are like. And this is exactly how we expect you to act. Oh, you coming? Oh, oh gosh. I can't believe I'm climbing these things. I don't think Anna's that immobile. I do think Anna could walk up those stairs like a normal person, but I get it. I get it. It's a calm day. Where did she find this place? It's actually really cute. I'm liking like the, what are these called? The split shingles and the little tin roof thing. And I'm enjoying this. It's a cute little place. To be fair, that was going to happen to Anna one way or the other. She's damn near six feet tall. I... All right. Keep in mind, I'll, I'll, along with me just cringing at this from the beginning to the end. These are outfits that she's chosen to wear in public. Put that, putting that out there. That's a, 
That's a whole on outfit that she plans to wear where other people can see her. Just want the internet. <laughs> Still only one bar. <gasps> Who are you talking to? Don't break the fourth wall. Come on, please. Michael, Michael, can you hear me? Can you hear Hold on. Is Michael John? Because if this is how she talks, if this, if Ashley talks to Michael the way Anna talks to John, why does John work for her? She can't possibly pay him that well. Ashley hoped a night. I know that was supposed to look like she had climbed a tree. Because, you know, Anna, Anna is Wonder Woman in a 400 pound package. Those trees, the way that they grow, there's like a, there's four of them, probably three to four of them, and they grow outward like this. She's, she's not climbed anything. She's just leaning against a tree. One of the branch, one of the, the trunks of the tree. She didn't climb anything, but I like that you're trying to convince us that you could. Nice festive dinner in town might change her look. She might even find signal. Oh, this is cute. Hey guys, I'm just here in this super cute Christmas village in the country, living my country girl Christmas fantasy. Love you. Bye. <laughs> That's kind of how your freaking Disney shorts came off. Not gonna lie. Bye. Who in their right goddamn mind wears this dress and those shoes, carries that bag, and walks in Texas on gravel from their house to town? no one also uber exists in texas by the way like all right anyway keep going this is just the worst <laughs> this hurts we realized the beautiful short walk to town advertised by the cabin's owner was over five painful miles i mean five miles most people can like the average pace of a mile is 15 minutes that's being on the slow end 15 times four or that's an hour that's about an hour and a half walk what is it Ten thousand steps is supposed to be five miles so i don't know it's basically your your supposed daily walking total for the day one direction i used to walk 10. i wonder if i could still walk 10 miles a day i just wonder if i still could do it i haven't had to do it in a while and she was walking them in heels. No one coming, are they? No. Stop breaking the fourth wall. I know she's exaggerating the limp because I know she gets a lot of comments about how she walks and especially now that she's running, how she runs and how poor her form is and how we can tell when she's hurting when she does these long tourist walks that she does and i know right now she's playing it at because she's she's commenting on our commentary about it however which i don't think she understands this is how she walks this weird limp that she's doing here this shuffling limp this is how she walks during those videos in spain and barcelona where she had to go up a hill to go see this one location i think she had to do it a couple times and there's been another video where she was like going to a beach or something and she had to go quite a distance to get there um and there's a couple shots of her lumbering like this when she was at the happiness retreat retreat yep words so as much as i understand that she's trying to make fun of us for making for pointing out that in her this is what it looks like and that's how we know she's in pain when she's walking and when she's running so, I mean, I know she feels like she's, like, sticking it to us with this cute little clip here, but the reality of the situation is, is this, we know this is how you walk. Now, going back to the meta Ashley, only an idiot does this. It's Texas. Why? You just call a cab. They exist, I promise. You call your neighbor. Most of them will give you a ride. Someone would probably have come out to look at your car. Or at least a tow truck would have come and gotten your car that had stalled in the driveway of the house that you're staying at. The nearest house was walking distance. You could have gone, knocked on the door, said, hey, my car stalled and I don't have a landline. My cell phone doesn't have a signal. Could you please call someone to come tow my car or let me come in so that I could call someone? Or could you help? And one of those questions would have gotten you an answer. All right, anyway. 
I'm thinking too deeply about the meta story. Is it meta? I am being their clothes for the day. Please, I'm hungry. <laughs> and yes, that's exactly how I think Anna acts, by the way. <laughs> this display is very pretty. Christmas doesn't have to be perfect. Just enjoy the season. Hey guys, I just had a super yummy dinner and now it's time to go to bed. Love you, bye! That's kind of how you're still, still how your, your TikToks and your whatnots come off. Just FYI. Okay, that's done. And she doesn't have a signal. She's sending these videos. Christmas doesn't have to be perfect. Just enjoy the season. So you're telling me she stole the card from the winter display? Ashley, you little five-fingered discounter you. Christmas doesn't have to be perfect. Christmas doesn't have to be perfect. I don't have to be perfect. I can I'm sorry, if you're from the South, Christmas has to be perfect. I don't I don't know what planet you stepped off of, but if Christmas is not perfect, uh, you have failed your entire life. Like, all of it. All of your life up to this point. All of it has failed. And all of it going forward will also be failure. If you if you don't have perfect Christmas. I, I don't know how to break this to you. <laughs> I pick up on the sarcasm, I'm sorry. I can just enjoy the season. I can just... Be me. I'm sorry. Christmas is not a time for individuality. Christmas is the time that you put on uncomfortable clothing, pack stuff into boxes that people don't want to open, give gifts to people who don't want them, and you eat food you don't like. I'm kidding. Kidding. Look at that cool house. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This is gorgeous. Some old trees. Nice little walkway. That's really nice, too. That'd be gorgeous. I'd be all over that place. Ashley woke up the next morning determined to make the best of things, even if it was raining. She cuddled her pup and then found a few Christmas decorations in the closet to bring her little cabin to life for the holidays. That's when things started to change. <laughs> she found a few Christmas ornaments? The raid in Grandma's box there? She found herself wandering into the oldest library in town, remembering how much she loved the smell. Did she walk there again? Did she walk there in heels again? She looks awfully dry for someone who walked five miles to town. Also, the oldest library in town is probably the only library in town. I don't... I I like Dark Academia as, a, as an aesthetic. Um, I don't like anything about this outfit. And honestly, I know I could purchase these pieces, and I'm not in the least bit inspired to even look at the prices of these to pretend like I'm going to buy them because they look like crap. She once again has neglected to iron out the wrinkles on any of her clothing. So it looks like this just been wadded up and thrown into a bag and it doesn't look great. And I would not, I'm not inspired to go look and buy these, these items. I'm just not. Elevable books as if their stories had their own magical scent. She forgot how happy reading made her. A terrible spelling. I don't think I've ever read a book on spelling that made me laugh like that. <laughs> oh my god. That's how you spell that word. She got to know all the animals and spoke to them like friends. She began to love being outdoors. It weirdly made her feel at peace. On the days it rained... She looks awkward AF, not at peace at all. How many... I'm confused about the setting. How many different buildings is Anna in? Like, how many different, quote, cabins is Anna, is Ashley staying in? And she decorated cookies in her cozy little cottage. And she ate those cookies without the weight of the world's judgment on her shoulders. She felt for Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And she ate those cookies because they were cookies and they were meant to be eaten. And nobody judged her for it. Okay. Oh, did, did, did you want some cookies? It's okay. You can eat the cookies. I, I know. I know I recently watched a video of Freely coming after Anna for making and eating cookies. And I don't care. It's Christmas time. Eat cookies. But I guess if you need to go all the way out to a cabin in the woods in the rural part of Texas in order to eat cookies without judgment, then um, you don't have a problem. There's, there's no problem there. <laughs> for eat, life was slower and softer and sillier. <laughs> and she was surprised by how much she loved every imperfect minute of it. You mean she's not going to pull that hat all the way down to her chin? Because we know that's how she thinks those hats are supposed to be worn. Just, you know, pointing that out. Oh, buddy, your car's ready. Let's go. Yay. <sighs> oh. <gasps> oh my god, Anna, you're so quirky. <laughs> You, you and Amber, they're like the quirkiest quirky girls that ever quirked. <laughs> okay, Data, let's go home. <laughs> Is it Data, the dog's name? Is it Data or Dana? I can't tell. <sighs> Merry Christmas. And a happy New Year. Before she left, she knew she had just one last thing to do. Go put back the card you stole that you stole christmas isn't christmas unless you share it with someone and share it she did thank you guys so much for watching that christmas card is uh, rockefeller square which i believe is in new york you doing putting a New York Christmas card in a Texas Christmas place? How dare. I'm kidding. Watching my country Christmas lookbook. As always, things are linked down below. I wanted to let you guys know that we came up with the idea to do this like little story version of a lookbook on our way to Fredericksburg. We had exactly 48 hours to put it together. And I'm. So on your way to Fredericksburg to film your lookbook, you got ticked off at the comments and the backlash that you've been receiving from your target haul and the videos that you've put out saying, if you don't like me, unsubscribe. And as a response to the negative responses that you've been getting for your bad behavior, you decided to put together a tongue in cheek, sarcastic character, Ashley, who you think is some kind of projection of yourself who has the perfect Christmas because she doesn't listen to the critics and she doesn't try to be perfect and she just lets herself exist and eat cookies without the judgment of the world upon her shoulders. Um, and that you felt was like some kind of slap back at your critics who aren't commenting on the fact any of the stuff that you projected onto Ashley we don't care that you're not perfect we don't care that you eat cookies for christmas we don't care about any of that we care about your piss poor behavior we care about the fact that you're insulting and mean to your audience and we care that you're pretending like you're on a weight loss journey and you're not being aided by weight loss drugs again no one cares that you're taking the medications they care that you're not saying that you're taking the medication and you're pretending like the way that you're losing weight is through exercise alone which also is bullshit so all of the things you're actually being criticized for you won't address at all and instead you've made up the storyline of all of your critics are just being mean mean bullies to you and they want you to be a perfect person when you're not and so you create this influencer character ashley who's insufferable by the way and that you think is some kind of reply to your audience to, to your critics and your audience I mean, it's a cute video. You can tell that there was some effort put into it. I still think your cameraman needs to go back to school, but I mean, if on the surface, it's cute. Um, the underlying layers of the story though, you're not being criticized for not being perfect. You're being criticized because you're, you're rude and you won't take it back. 
you went into a store at the during the Christmas season and totally took apart a Christmas display at a Target and then basically just left a mess behind for the employees to clean up after you because you were mad that you couldn't find your size in the juniors section of Target. Whose fault was that? Wasn't, wasn't the Target employee's fault, but yet you felt no guilt creating work for them. You know? You felt no guilt putting out a video basically telling people if we don't like and support everything that you do, we should just unsubscribe. Um, you don't feel bad about saying that to people. You don't feel bad about telling people that if they question you or demand better from you that they need to just SDF you and get the F out. And I imagine a bunch of them did, which is the other reason for this video, probably. She's probably trying to, like, get people to come back and watch her again. So Anna went through and made a lookbook of her favorite styles for 2023, picked out the most expensive items she could find, it feels like, with the cheapest accessories she could find, and put a bunch of outfits together. Who are, who's your target audience here? Like, I know you've done hauls at Walmart, at Target, at Lane Bryant, at other stores that are more low to middle price-wise, why didn't you put a lookbook together of clothes that are affordable for everyday people as opposed to clothes that are affordable for... Look, seriously, even if I could have dropped $700 on this outfit here, because I do kind of like it, I wouldn't. That's just a ridiculous amount of money to spend on a dress. I'm just saying. Anna is so freaking out of touch, and yet she has this Ashley character who's, again, it's just Anna tuned up a little bit. It's just Anna overacting. Do I believe that Anna makes these vapid, fake shorts? Yes, I've always said that. Do I think the minute she's not recording, she's like, <sighs> yes, I do. I think that's exactly how she acts. I think when she had that scene of Ashley in town banging on the door because the, the restaurant was closed and she's hungry <laughs> and then she's walking down the road. <laughs> I know that's how you act. You've admitted to it. When you went to the happiness retreat and you didn't get praise for making the world's best tarts, you told us that you went off and cried. You mentioned that anytime you couldn't fit at the table, which was the entire time because you refused to ask for accommodation, you sat over in your little corner and completely ignored everyone else there and cried the entire time. Like, you have admitted to that behavior. So yeah, that's exactly how I think you act. Do I think Anna is just a or that Ashley's just a projection of Anna? 100%. Do I think she's also using this video to clap back at her critics and at the um, pushback that she's been getting from her recent videos? Yes. Because the clothing in this, some of the outfits are cute, but they're like expensive AF. Like who the f spends this kind of money on this kind of clothes? Wh why? Why? But more than anything, I think it's just her a clapping back at people who are criticizing her for her bad behavior and for her, her poor, her poor behavior and her lack of transparency to her audience about how she's actually achieving the look that she's achieving. And also a, f a wealth flex because she's like, look at all of this fancy clothes, all of these rich clothes that I can afford to wear. And I went to this little cabin in the woods and I rented this and you know, all of this, all of these like affluent wealth flexes. And yet, in her videos and stuff outside of this lookbook, she's never once addressed the actual issues that people keep bringing up. She's created a situation in her head where people are just making fun of her because she's big and that they don't like her fashion and that she's not perfect in their eyes. That's not the problem. It never has been. People don't expect you to be perfect. The fact that you've tried to build a brand where you look like you're perfect and you look like you're all these things that Ashley's supposed to be projecting and that we are fully aware that you're not those things. I think that bothers her more than anything is that we can see beyond the acting. So is this video kind of cute, little tongue in cheek, kind of funny, haha? -ha? Yeah, it is. And in the one hand, and if I, 
if I didn't know the controversies that Anna has been perpetuating for herself by ignoring them and doing the exact opposite of the thing that she could do in order to make them go away, which would be apologize and be transparent. If I didn't know those things were occurring, I would think this is just a very cringy way of showing off a lookbook for 2023. I'm I'm not entirely positive what a lookbook is supposed to be, by the way. I just know that it's like outfits and shit. I don't I don't know what the point of a lookbook is. Um since I do know all of that controversy is going on behind the scenes with Anna, and I do know that Anna is doing everything except addressing it, I fully am aware that this is um this is her clapping back at reactors like myself and other people who have like uh sam at every size who has a much larger platform has called anna out for the exact same shit i've called anna out for or alex is shook who has called anna out for this bad behavior um i would say the cynic guy but he <laughs> i don't really know if he was calling her out if he was just going wtf um chikara transformations is constantly on anna's shit not only for her exercise forms and how badly she's going to end up hurting herself because she won't do the exercises correctly because she can't. She also calls her out for her incredibly shite behavior when she went to Target. This is Anna clapping back at all of these people for basically asking her to apologize for bad behavior and also be transparent about the fact that she's using medications to lose weight. And Anna can't wrap her head around it. She just can't accept that A, she was wrong during the Target video, and B, that she needs to be transparent about the fact that she's using medications to lose weight. That's it. That's all she has to do. And 90% of the criticism that she's getting right now would go away. But she can't do it. Instead, she makes up this story about Ashley, who's being harangued because she's not perfect during Christmas, and she wants to eat cookies without judgment, and... And her mental health isn't great. Okay, cool. Join the Quack. club, babe. I don't know anybody whose mental health is A-OK, -okay, especially during this time of the year. <laughs> All right? You're not special. Um, it's that kind of a thing. But anyway, we have made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys stuck around for it because yeah, there were some moments there, let me say. Um, go ahead and if you want to watch the whole video, because I'm pretty sure I probably cut some stuff out. If you want to watch the whole video, go to Anna's channel. I'll probably link it down below. It is cute. It's a cute video if you don't know what's going on. Yeah. Do I like the fashion in it? Uh, I think I think one fourth of it. I think a fourth of the fashion in this I liked. The rest of it I either have no opinion on because it's not my thing or it was just god awful. Uh, so down in the comment section, go ahead and leave a Christmas tree or a Christmas present or something Christmassy. Go ahead and leave a comment what you guys think. I know several people commented when I posted that I was going to be watching this video. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Leave us a Christmas style emoji. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to my members. Thank you to everyone who's gonna leave a thumbs up. And if you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe because I make more of these videos pretty routinely. And I will see everybody in the new year. Bye.